What does living your best life mean? It means being intentional with the choices you make so that your subsequent actions awaken your soul. Only then, the bravery and trust to commit your body, mind, and spirit to your most meaningful dreams. You bring to life the limitless possibility of your potential, revealing your true magic, first to yourself, then to the world. I am extremely nervous. I actually think this might be the craziest thing I've done on my list. I'm Seb. Since 2009, I've been chasing down my biggest and wildest dreams from my bucket list. Surfing the Pororoca, the Amazonian tidal wave, is number 77. I remember when I was a kid, I saw footage on TV of someone surfing the Pororoca, and I was immediately hooked. At the time, I couldn't even surf, but I guess like any dream, the seed was planted. Some 20 years later, I woke up one morning and thought, why not today? So what is the Pororoca? Created by a supermoon that rises high over the Amazonian jungle, a king tide is formed, drawing in a tidal bore from the mighty Pacific Ocean. Funneling into the mouth of the Amazon, it grows into a crashing wave that spans across the width of the river, surging upstream like an out-of-control locomotive. Creating a roar that echoes throughout the untouched Amazon, the wave gains size and strength as it rips down trees on the banks of the river while churning the riverbed as it grows into an intimidating wall of crashing brown water. Did I mention that the water is also infested with piranhas and alligators? We're on the edge of the, the Amazon for the first time as the sun is setting. The tide is going out at the moment and in two hours the full moon, the super moon rises and there will be the first wave tonight. We would love to surf it but it'll be in the middle of the night so we're going to wait for the morning. Okay, video diary. Actually, don't have a video diary. I don't know why I said that. Supermoon, the Amazon. Jet skis, surfboards on there. The crew. We're just about to do this. Day one of surfing the Pororoca. In a moment of full disclosure, my heart is pounding. Don't know what's around the corner, <laughs> but that's perfect. That's exactly why I do these things. Because, God, it's fun to try. Yes! Man, the craziest thing about this, getting into the jet skis here and going that way for an hour. <laughs> and it gets crazy because the, the river gets big and then it gets narrow and it's one hour in the dark just going to the middle of the river. We've got eyes on a rolling wave that is crashing into the side of the riverbank. That white cat. You actually see it. Dude, look at it. You can see it. Look at it. Look at it. It's fucking rushing. Look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to meet the Polo Rocker. Having survived that first wave, it was time to relax, change my underwear, and see if we could find some bigger waves to have some fun with.
hard to talk about. It's a good sensation, right? The connection with the mother nature, the positive vibration. All the environment can feel you, can feel us. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm so fulfilled. I feel so happy. Just being here. And we got two more days. <laughs> Although I came to the Poda Rocker with the purpose of tackling a personal <laughs> dream, it quickly became apparent that like anything in life, surfing is best when shared with good people. Tyler, my videographer, was a surfing nut, as was Berto, our new Brazilian friend who had traveled to the Amazon to check off the very same dream. We have been riding for an hour, I think, but uh, in the wave. All three of us score. I was recording. And so, with friendships growing with every wave that we caught over our few days together, we all agreed that on our last day, we had one objective. For the three of us to try and surf one wave together. The question was, would the mighty Pororoca provide us with our perfect wave? It's as if on our last day, nature has conspired to deliver the ultimate morning. It's perfect conditions for surfing. Is that too much of an exaggeration? No, it's, uh, the word is serene. Oh, it's serene. What a ridiculous scene. If you were to zoom up a couple of miles and have a look at a map at where we are, we are in the middle of nowhere. Five men, two jet skis, three surfboards, one dream, the Pararoca. The day was epic, and although we had managed to surf in pairs, we were still yet to find that one elusive wave that the three of us could surf together. We were losing hope, but then literally, on our last attempt, the Pororoca gifted us with a moment that none of us will ever forget. <laughs> Yeah, doing it with your friends. What a moment! Oh! I can't believe like where we are. The three days we've had, just surfing that last wave with, with you and Perdo, and it's just so overwhelming. I just feel so happy. I feel so joyful. God, where is this coming from? If you're watching this and you have a goal or a dream or even just an urge, a desire, a thought that something needs to be done in your life, don't wait. Prioritize it. There's a saying that you may have heard before and it's when we're young, we regret the things that we did. When we get older, we regret the things that we never did. Don't stop. Avoid that regret by choosing to do it now. Mwah.